With everything that just happened regarding the JP Morgan case and just everything that's been going on in the world in general, it's a pretty interesting time for precious metals to say the very least. And I know a lot of people are getting renewed interest or are hearing about investing for the first time, so they're kind of wondering what exactly they should do to get started. But there's one thing that you need to know before making your first purchase. And I do know that a lot of people are going to be starting with silver because it's a lot more affordable than gold. And I do recommend actually starting with silver myself myself because when you buy anything that's under one ounce the premium that you pay or the amount that you're paying on top of the actual value of the metal itself starts to go way up especially for something like a one gram gold bar which might be what you can afford to purchase or a one tenth ounce gold bar anything like that is going to carry a very high premium so you're going to be getting less gold per dollar than if you were to be able to afford a whole ounce which is almost two thousand dollars or over two thousand dollars probably with the premium on it so when you really start to get into it you can get a lot more metal for your dollar by buying silver if you don't have enough money to afford whole ounces of gold. But that's just a general piece of advice for anyone out there who's looking to get the most metal for their dollar possible. This video is going to be something that I think anyone who's just getting into precious metals needs to hear, no matter how wise you are, because it's a trap that's easy to fall into, because there's unfortunately a lot of propaganda out there right here on YouTube that's going to make you believe something that's very false about precious metals. So here it is, the ugly truth that no one likes talking about. Precious metals are not going to be making you wealthy. They might protect your wealth if you already are pretty wealthy or at least well off. They might be a way for you to keep your assets from depreciating, but they're not going to make you as a normal person into a millionaire because you decided to buy today when some crazy guy on YouTube told you that silver was about to go to the moon. People have been saying that every single year since I've begun investing in precious metals back in 2014, and they will continue saying it, not because they're just misguided and really love precious metals, it's because they understand how to drive engagement. That's why you see the same cycle of videos being made by most big channels every single year about precious metals, because year in and year out, people will listen to the same stale opinions and the same poor takes, especially when it goes with their own confirmation bias, because everybody who's invested in precious metals for the most part wants to believe that they're making the right choice because precious metals are going to explode they don't want to believe it's the right choice because in the long term eventually precious metals outpace inflation that's boring nobody really wants to invest that way even though it's the right way to invest even though if we actually look at this chart you can see silver really has outpaced inflation by a massive margin which is something i talked about in another video recently you can still imagine that a lot of people would rather hear somebody talking about 10x returns but if you've been with precious metals for a long time or just looked at long-term price charts you will know that precious metals prices have exploded before even though they came crashing back down, it could be fair to say that the price was being manipulated or maybe there wasn't enough upside pressure to keep it going, but those markets reflected more of how a bubble acts rather than showing a lot of promise for being able to sustain those prices. Not that it would be impossible, it definitely could happen in the future, but what I'm saying is that when you invest in precious metals, you shouldn't be banking on a price explosion and making that your reason to start investing because chances are you're going to be left holding the bag when you end up having to sell for a bit of a loss because you bought too much or you just end up very disappointed because your investment isn't really going anywhere if we look at the last two years of silver prices you can see that we're pretty much in the same boat that we were two years ago the price dipped down a little bit then it came back up and it's been bouncing around the same couple dollar range for several months this is kind of the nature of silver it might go up and down a little bit but it's not going anywhere anytime soon, or at least at any pace that you probably want it to. It moves very slow, and whenever something does happen, it takes decades for an actual historical rise to occur. So that's just something to keep in mind when you get into precious metals. No matter what it is, I mean, I'm talking about silver, but gold has a very similar price trajectory if you look at it historically. And I also recommend looking at silverprice.org and goldprice.org. They will be linked in the description below because they are great websites that let you actually see the price trends of metals over the last decades. 
And you can also see that chart that compares its current price today to different points historically and see what percentage the metal is actually going up by. Now, with that all being said, if you don't mind dropping a subscription, liking the video, and doing anything else that you don't mind doing to support this channel, it's greatly appreciated because that'll help this video reach more people. YouTube's basically labeled this as a shorts channel because I was posting too many shorts videos. So hopefully this gets out to some people. Let me know if you saw this in your browse features. Peace.